In this tutorial, we'll go over how to administer substitutions for our YDL gains. A substitute who desires to enter the game shall report to the scorer's table. They will be allowed to enter the game on the next dead ball. The scorekeeper will sound the horn on the next dead ball to alert the referees of a pending substitution. Both referees will acknowledge and beckon the substitution in by raising one hand to stop the clock and wave in the substitution with the other hand. Play should not resume until the substitutions are complete. During multiple free throws, substitutions may be made only before the final attempt in the free throw sequence. A player who has been injured or is bleeding shall be directed to leave the game unless a timeout is requested by and granted to their team and the situation can be corrected by the end of the timeout. Any player who exhibits any signs, symptoms, or behaviors consistent with the concussion, such as loss of consciousness, headaches, dizziness, confusion, or balance problems, shall be immediately removed from the game and shall not return to play until cleared by an appropriate healthcare professional.